guys, it's Eddie Barata from CoachMeTapeTips.com. Today I'm going to be covering the reverse backspin serve. So reverse pendulum, some, some people call it. Backspin serve. To me, it touches a chord or touches my heart because it's one of the serves that I absolutely loved doing as a youngster, but I found the hardest out of any serve that I have today. I unfortunately did not have a coach to teach me this serve, so I had to spend many, many hours practicing the serve and finding a way of um, executing it. So I'm going to give you a few tips, hopefully, that will help you develop the serve. Good. Tip number one, point of contact. A lot of people get this wrong because what they do with their motion is they go forward this way. This creates side spin or top spin on the ball. What you want to be doing is contacting under the ball underneath the ball, there. I would advise to hold the ball like this initially and snap the wrist like that under the ball. A nice little tool to help you with this is to go on top of the table. You might remember my last video, I taught you guys with the backspin going on top of the table this way. You're gonna go the other way, reverse-wise, under the ball this way. So you'll just, sorry, just practicing doing this. Once you've got this motion and you can see you can see that the ball is coming back. That's not good. There. Once you've got that, the ball making the ball come back, then you know you're creating backspin. Last one. Tip number two, the grip. This is where people struggle. Uh, and it depends as well on whether you feel comfortable. When I first learned this serve, I practiced uh, with the handle under my uh, forearm, this way. Today I struggle with this. I can still do it, but I struggle with it. What I do find with this, I can generate a lot more backspin, but the timing is so fine, you have to be really careful with it. If you're not practicing the serve a lot, then you will struggle. So my advice is to hold uh, the bat this way, so the blade is on top of your forearm, and you can still get underneath the ball. And for some odd reason, I can't explain exactly why, the contact is a little bit easier to uh, connect with the ball. So the grip for me, I uh, hold it very, very loose. You can notice like that, my thumb is up there, my index finger is there, and my other fingers are effectively off the blade, as you can see. Some people might want to try holding the blade, but I think you'll struggle to really get under the ball. You want to try and uh, go like this, and then you can really scoop underneath the ball that way or that way, you can choose. And also notice the elbow goes up. The elbow is up, which allows me to go under the ball. If my elbow is down, well, I can't get underneath the ball. I can only go sideways. So I've got to lift my elbow up, and I can go this way. So this is all part of the grip, and the way you should um, hold the handle. Elbow, wrist, grip. And then you can generate the backspin that way, or that way. Number three, your head. This is vitally important. A lot of people, when they do this serve, they lift their heads up, and that's when they generate the top spin or side spin. As soon as they lift the head up, you're going an upward motion, generating that top spin. You want to keep your head really low and your eyes pointing downwards towards the bat, and then you snap them there, and you keep your head and you follow the ball this way. As soon as you lift your head up, you're going to generate that top spin. So you want to here, head down, there. Have a look. There. My head stayed down. One more time. Here. Head down. Now notice if my head goes up, I generate that top spin. 
generate the top spin, head down, generate the back spin. Also notice where my back goes. My back goes forward, it does not go sideways. It does not go sideways away from me, it goes in towards the table, in towards the table. So, there, notice, it went in towards the table. guys for following my channel I really appreciate the support and I hope you guys um, continue to follow me and subscribe to my channel and also feel free to ask me any questions comment below and uh, share the videos thanks again see you soon